New Logan Paul lore drama? Logan Paul has hit a new low. Is this true? I don't know. Achito, uh, this is the guy that was talking about, um, what's his name the other day? Uh, fucking, um, Dark Viper AU. At this point in time, Logan Paul has become one of the most infamous creators on YouTube. As Thanks for the cosplay? Yeah, true. Your parents about him, they know who he is at this point. He's made national headlines for controversies he's been involved in, and the dude doesn't even make content anymore, if we're being honest. He's posted seven videos in the past year total, and, uh, yeah, he's kind of basically fallen off, which is fine and well-deserved <laughs> because of the controversies he's been involved in being some of the most egregious of any content creator really ever. Uh, that includes, like, you know, the whole dead body filming thing. I think there's someone hanging right there. And then the million Millions of dollars of money that he's basically uh, embezzled through scams, whether that would be crypto zoo. Yeah, dude. I, yo, I, uh, I used to be a fan of Logan and Jake. I became a fan of Logan after, like, uh, uh probably about a year. Wait, 20, yeah, 2018. Probably about a year after the Suicide Forest thing, right? Um, and I thought he was a better person. This whole crypto zoo thing came out. I was like, oh, damn. I started watching him because I started watching Impulsive because um, of uh, Hey Big Mike. Yeah, we'll see what he did. We'll see what, <laughs> we'll see what, um, we'll see what a Cheeto has to say about this. Oh, shit. I don't think I watched that spike. A mad Pat? Oh yeah, oh god, we reacted to his um we reacted to him leaving. Whether that would be any of the crypto projects he's promoted. And if you want like an yeah. extensive list and breakdown of all the crypto scams that he's peddled on his platform to his audience of literal fetuses, go check out this video by King of Nothing, where he breaks down all of these scams that Logan Paul has been involved in. I'll link that video down below. But ultimately, I think he's kind of a person that no matter what he does, his career is ultimately tarnished by the fact that he still has not given the money back to people who lost it from crypto zoo. Yeah. Yeah, I think he really did do, uh, I think, I think he did do a lot of hurt to his career. I don't think there was, um, I don't think there's, I don't think there's much to do unless he gives them their money back, which I'm pretty sure he has that fucking money. Like, there's not, not much coming back from that shit because, like, the Suicide Force thing, like, I feel like he spent years and years, like, trying to, like, show everyone, like, hey, I'm actually a good human being, like, I'm, like, I'm working on myself and I become better, and I, I like, truly believe that. Maybe I was just fucking drinking the Kool-Aid, but, yeah, I, like, truly believe that he was a better human being, and I even defended him a couple times to my friends, and then the Crypto Zoo thing happened. I was like, ah, Yeah. Yeah. I remember I got the notification for the Force video, and I was... Busy, so I plan to watch it later. He managed to remove it before I got it. Oh, god damn. This vid... This is the vid IDK... What? Patty Mayo did slash does YouTube version of Dog the Bounty Hunter? Oh my god. I was super into TFIL around Suicide Force era. Of all that, TFIL fans hated Team 10 fans, so I was in a fandom war. Oh my gosh. I used to like Achito, but his community just made me uncomfy in his discord server and some of his takes is from lack of research yeah i'm taking these videos with a grain of salt but achito seems to be at least like a centrist at minimum it pissed me off that bro probably got a multi-million dollar contract with wwe yeah he still it pisses me off that he's so entertaining and so charismatic you know it's easy for me to slip into the Oh, he, he changed, you know, boat. A gigantic douchebag that no one really seems to like. And uh, all he's really got going on at this point is the boxing stuff, which is what we're talking about today because he's actually got beef right now with his own brother, his own flesh and blood, some Paul brother on Paul brother violence. We're talking about the Mike Tyson fight. Logan Paul is basically claiming that Jake stole his thunder with the Mike Tyson fight, claiming that Mike Tyson offered to box Logan first, which as we'll get in today is completely bullshit. And why he would even say this does not make any sense. Like, does he think that gives him any sort of clout or like... Uh, Makes him look cool. Like, wow, congrats, dude. Uh, Mike Tyson wants to beat your ass. Uh, here's your medal. It's a gold medal made of chocolate, all right? So it actually... Dude, the XQC clapping sounds is crazy. I never got on Jager Logan. Fair. Is Blonde, how have you fell for that trap? What? 
Loki, this might be a terrible take, but I saw the Forest video, and I don't think it's as crazy as some people played up to be. Like, it was it a bit insensitive? Yeah, yes, but Logan was dumb, young kid with fame. I think the thing... I didn't see the video, so I can't say. I can't say. But I think the thing with the Suicide Forest video is you're right. Logan Paul was young and stupid as fuck, and he has had fame since he was, like, 17 or 18, maybe even 16, right? So his chance to mature was not all there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but as someone that was a fan of them for a while, they literally was versus each other all the time. Dude is talk, talking as if this ain't a common thing. Yeah, they've literally been going at each other's throats and causing problems um, with each other like since the beginning for clout. Actually happened was Logan Paul was on this podcast with KSI and he basically claimed that Mike Tyson offered to fight him first and he said no to the fight which if that is true why would Logan turn that down like that doesn't make any sense like Mike Tyson obviously has way more props <laughs> yo the fair Hamara turn up and cloud in holy fuck the world of fighting he's a legend he has accolades that logan paul does not have and would probably get if he were to knock out mike tyson so why <laughs> why say no to that like what you're washed up like take what you can get i said no to fighting mike tyson uh, yeah true true kobe yo what's up limbo say no i was i was offered it and you I, got you offered. yeah i was offered it but not on netflix and not for a big ass bag yeah. it was just like a it was just like a oh this yeah yeah, I think here's here's like the main thing with that video for me is like, did Logan Paul fuck up and was that insensitive? Yeah, absolutely. But people then like treated Logan Paul like there was no way for him to come back or get redemption or like become a better human being because was it fucked and insensitive? Absolutely. But I think like clearly he had the chance to come back and be a better human being from it. But some people didn't give him the time of day. I, I don't think we should just write off like because he did a fucked up thing with the fact that somebody lost their life it's almost like you just completely wrote off a second person's entire life because he did that fucked up thing you know what i'm saying so holding him accountable absolutely but i think there was also way too far of a line of being like yeah fuck this person i will never fucking give them another chance and i hope they die like type shit you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that's everyone but there was definitely a group of people like that you know what i'm saying so yeah and i'm with you 100 percent. it was another life you know Reggie Wayne seems low. I forgot how little fights they actually do in terms of how long Mike has been around. Mike Tyson. Am I going to take Jake's ear win or lose? LOL. Oh, my God. What the fuck, bro? Had a f fan group of 9 to 13-year-olds when he did the Suicide Force thing? Nah, that shit is showing gore to kids. Yeah, no shit. He shouldn't come back. He wrote off someone's life as content idk how you guys are justifiable see here's the thing like i get where you're coming from it is like fucked it's totally fucked but again he fucking i don't know man that's just my take i get your take too i just don't think we should write off someone completely because they made a fucked up decision because they were like what how old is logan paul right now he's like what 22 23 and he's totally under, uh, like, he, he's not mature at all. I'm going to be honest, as a kid, I've seen worse shit online. Kids are going to see that shit regardless unless they have parents on top of that shit. That, too. That, too. I get people make mistakes, but he should have known better than to film a dead body. I think at least one of the, bro one of the brothers sh since stopping YouTube is doing way better and grew as a person. Nobody is just fine Logan posting a dead body. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm not saying he should have done it, by the way. I'm not saying he should have done that, or it was the right move, or that he's not overall a bad human being. I just think that one bad decision should not completely like write him off as a human being forever. You know what I'm saying? Well, some people have more or less sensitivity to death. I have a big lack of sensitivity to it, but it's a very big thing for others. That's why people uh reacted that huge. Let's remember it's not like it was a common fuck up to show a dead body on YouTube. Logan's video was literally the worst that the platform had gotten at the time. That's why it was that big because that was a full person. I agree with you, except for the biggest fuck up on YouTube at the time. I think it was the most popularized fucked up fuck up at the time. But I think that uh, it wasn't the biggest.
fuck up on YouTube were the worst thing that they allowed. I think YouTube at the time was doing, like, allowing way worse shit on their platform. And Logan Paul was kind of just the, like, um, main fuck up that then made them be like, oh, fuck, we have to fix this. Uh, it was fucked up and it ain't justified, but we should be open to the possibility of him coming back from that. Now he's kind of throwing all that out the window as of like, yes, absolutely. I do think his apologize apology could have been better though. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, I mean, it's not like he was live streaming, bro, recorded it, edited it, and thought all that. He still thought it was a good idea to post it. True. I'm not saying that it wasn't a horrible thing. He did a horrible thing. He did a horrible and sensitive thing that he had the time to think about, and then also he had the time to go and record. But the main thing that I'm saying is, like, if we remove this crypto zoo thing, and Logan Paul genuinely spent time redeeming himself and showing that he wasn't a horrible human being, and genuinely helped, um, and felt bad about the situation, uh, I don't, I don't think we should just straight up write him off as a human being forever. Like, I think we should give him time to grow, you know? I don't know. That's my take. That's just my blank take. I didn't, I wasn't there for the original thing. I was a fucking kid hearing other sources talk about it. Okay. This is just me thinking about it right now as an adult, right? Uh, and thinking about what I've heard and the conflicting sides of it and everything. Again, being somebody that used to watch Logan Paul a decent amount. Uh, yeah. But I get, I get people not, like, ever fucking with Logan again. I just don't think that should be the common consensus of, like, uh, you fucked up really badly because you were young and an idiot, right? And did a, a horrible thing. Like, I think there should be redemption, you know? And also, you guys don't have to agree with me, by the way. Feel free to be like, nah, Chris, that's fucking a an ass take. I mean, I know some of you guys know that already, but I just want to make it clear. Like, I don't care. You guys can fucking say that I'm a dumbass. I'll be real crazy to try to reason how he should be allowed back after then and then for him to scam y'all not gonna lie is yo fuck up i mean yeah dude listen if i bought cryptocurrency from logan paul you could call me a dumbass i mean yeah what's up duckling by the way no i get you man but i still don't like him because he's rubbing me or he's robbing me through how good prime is <laughs> yo that's fucked up by the way that's fucked up by the way prime is really good i've had prime bro that shit's fucked bro also, I get people thinking that Logan Paul's an asshole. I mean, you know. Uh, yeah, we had gotten, like, underground fucked up shit, but, like, talking, like, the faces of YouTube, the vloggers, et cetera, before people had been, like, disrespectful and assholes, but not shown a fucking dead body. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, the way I just look at it is when you have fame at a young age with no role model around you to teach you how to deal with fame, like, that shit can happen fast. Yeah. Yeah. Prime is awful. That shit is yuck. Prime is mid. Yeah, I guess my taste buds are just fucked, chat. I guess they're just cooked. Logan did it because he is a stupid motherfucker, not because he is some hidden devil. Yeah, I agree. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get. Yeah, I get what you're saying, Kobe. A hundred percent. I don't know if Lindbergh missed one of your chats there. Maybe. Maybe that's what happened. But I get what you're saying. Like, it was the face of YouTube at the time. Or one of the faces of YouTube at the time. Because he literally was. Like, whether people want to recognize it or not, he was. Um, Never had Prime. Won't give him my money. Fair. What game are you playing tomorrow? I don't know yet. Almost threw up the first time I drank Prime. That shit's so nasty. Yeah, I guess my taste buds are just cooked. I think that vid really uh, soured his name for me. And then on top of that, all of the scammy stuff that it... Yeah, 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 I agree. I agree. That's why I don't, like, watch him anymore or support him in any way. I don't even watch Impulsive, even though I do really like Hey Big Mike. I'll just watch him on uh, Jeff FM. Uh, yeah, yeah, what Chucky said. As a 26-year-old, I grew up with the internet not having safeguards and seen some fucked up shit but youtube should have done better in that situation i mean they should have i straight up like that's another thing that i feel like people don't talk about right with the situation um is youtube had their bot at the time they could have fucking caught that they could have literally stopped it 
Like, they could have made, like, their review, like, they could have put it in for review. The bot could have caught that, put it in for review. A real human being could have watched that and took it down. You know? Yo! What's up, Nato Tango? How's it going, bro? Uh, can you play Blood Strike tomorrow? I don't know what that is. I get kids see gore online, but their supermodel shouldn't think that showing gore to them makes it okay. And there were others around when he did that shit, and no one tried to... Con contest the content oh yeah i mean i think that's the problem of surrounding yourself with yes men like he literally surrounded himself with yes men and that was part of his fucking uh problem like you need people that are gonna hold you accountable and that's like why it's important to surround yourself with people that hold you accountable you know and also prop you up at the same time you can hold someone accountable and prop them up at the same time you just need to find a good balance which is hard an fps game i'm gonna be honest like i'm not a huge fan of fps games unless i'm either playing with friends or i think they can uh like, ver garner a lot of views. You did the whole podcast thing with Tommy in a video. Both of them were low-key uncomfy. Oh. To be fair, I don't think the friends in the video could have changed his mind if they told him not to post it. Yeah, I think that's, like, the, the thing is, like, you need someone in your life that can check you, and you'll be like, oh, fuck, yeah, you're right. No, this is stupid. Or, like, okay, let, let me think about it. Please have a yes man that isn't a weird fuck. I'm not going to lie, I used to like Mike, but IDK, I'm not his biggest fan as of late, I guess. Oh, hey, Big Mike? Uh, Yeah, I get that for you, Limburg. Chris, what's up, bro? It's been a while. How are you, Switchblade? I'm amazing, bro. We're just doing some reacts, chilling, talking. Okay, let's continue with the video, because apparently Logan Paul's in more beef now. This could be a real fight, because I've, I've been asked before. I'm sure you have, too. Do you think you could beat Mike Tyson? And my answer was, and will be... Yes. Well, oh, Lord, we were talking about Logan Paul and his whole situation. Yeah, I just think he, I, prior to the suicide force. We were talking about the suicide force. But I now? Yes, I just think he's too old, bro. That's oh, crazy. Oh, God. He's he's got got is, he'd be great hey, for a round, maybe. Anyway, so this turned out to not be true at all. Uh, he did not turn down shit because nothing <gasps> was offered to him. Turns out that Jake Paul was the first person who you can even say was offered a fight with Mike Tyson, but he wasn't even offered the fight. He approached Mike Tyson and said, hey, I have this idea. We can do this fight on Netflix. You receive... <laughs> No, this is crazy. You receive clout, I receive concussion. <laughs> and Mike Tyson agreed. So it doesn't even make sense why Logan Paul would say this in the first place. Like, who are you trying to... His beard is so weird to me and I can't put my finger on it not to be rude. Wait, whose beard? I'm impressed. And it's so funny too. Hey, Big Mike? Because how would he not expect his own brother to fact check him on that? Like, he obviously knows the fucking inner workings of the, the boxing world at this point. Like, you guys both are in the same... Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I was, I was like, I was like, yo... The, I get the meme, right, for, like, all the other fighters he's probably fought, right, for some people, like, young people and shit, but Mike Tyson, I mean, unless you're, like, 11, dude, <laughs> unless you're, like, 11. I guess side hustle, I don't even know if that's, like, their main thing, and, like, he obviously knows Mike Tyson at this point, so, like, he's gonna fact check that. Now, why I think yeah. Logan Paul actually lied about this is because also, he is a terminal grifter, literally. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you, Omen. His beard hat, like, it either, like, it looks, like, too perfect. Like, it looks like what I would give my sim in The Sims. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, yeah, this shit looks like AI generated. Like, literally what you said. Jake's literally just the whiny little brother. Yeah. Uh, Logan, back in the days when the Force video got out, he was extremely mindless. Like, he was not near Earth. The video was, like, an explosion on his metaphorically, or metaphoric plane that sent him crashing down to earth then he just experienced more hell with losing his two long lasting pets Kong and Maverick true yeah I mean uh, you know and again you would hope that would force him to grow and maybe he did grow and maybe he is grown a little bit but also just uh the fact that he did the crypto shit you know I'd pay for prime Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul just for the chances of Jake dying. Jake Paul is getting to fight Mike Tyson with headgear and he's going to be allowed to tag team and his fucking brother honestly whack as fuck pussy ass. What? Tag team with his brother? Inscription, it's hella fun. Dude, ins Inscription is so fucking fun, bro. He's way better than back then, but now he's just a normal stupid white man like the rest real. The fight rules is so bullshit. Is that real? 
Okay, we're gonna look at that up after this video. Yo, what's up, Poofy? Yo, a bit ago, I told you how I'm switching content styles, and you said it would be really hard, and so far, it's going very well, and today, I stream and got my peak viewers ever on my stream. Dude, good shit, bro. Proud of you, man. Where, are you streaming on, like, YouTube and stuff, Poofy? Literally anything that seems to be popular or whenever there's hype around anything, Logan Paul wants to attach his name to it. Whether that would be his racial grifting in 2020 where he uh, was up. Yo, what's up, Jesse? Yo, Poofy, hold on. Let me, uh, I'm gonna try and follow you, bro. I'm trying to drop you a sub on YouTube, brother. Apparently the anti-racist overlord for about three months or something after George Floyd died. Logan Paul was going to end racism, all right? You don't, you don't understand. He was the next Malcolm X, okay? He was going to be the next fucking martyr. It's 2020, and I'm sure I'll make more mistakes in my life, but one mistake that I refuse to be a part of is the mistake of silence. I will not be a part of a generation that is written on the wrong side of history, and I will not stand by as my fellow humans are brutally and unjustifiably murdered at the hand of the state or any oppressor. Listen closely, one of my biggest learnings from all of this, and I'm embarrassed that it's taken me 25 years to realize this. It is not enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist. Yes. <clears throat> Condemn those who feign superiority because of the color of their skin. Friends, hold friends accountable. Hold your family accountable. Hold yourself accountable. And most importantly, we must hold our authorities accountable. Police officers, Politicians, policymakers. I'm confused. Is what's his name? A Cheeto saying this is a bad thing? As Killer Mike said, bully the politicians at the voting booth. Mm -hmm. Make your vo voice heard. Attend a protest. Speak up against injustice. If you're white, if you look like me, use your privilege. And for those who do not think white privilege exists, you are fucking blind. You are delusional, and you are part of the problem. He basically said it's not enough to be not racist, you have to be anti-racist, and uh, yeah, his, his whole thing for like a few months was that uh, he's gonna end racism. Well, obviously, you know, that didn't happen at all. Nothing even close to that took place. I mean... Uh... I don't know, dude. Uh, I don't know. I, d I don't... I mean, I was pretty tapped in on Logan Paul content at the time. I don't think that's what he was saying. To be like to play fair here right i mean just look at instagram reels racism is back like it's back in a big way and uh logan paul buddy you're not here to stop it so what's going on big guy so then that grift died he's grifted off the whole crypto thing he's he grifted off of fucking everything literally everything is this in this guy's career is just grift so the moment his brother gets this huge fight promise with a boxing fighting legend mike tyson and it's i feel like he probably i'm not gonna lie i feel like he probably could have used some better instances of Logan Paul grifting. I mean, I don't have any right now, right? So maybe I should just shut the fuck up, but I feel like, uh, I don't know. Maybe I was, again, maybe I just got, maybe I got fucking, I was drinking the Kool-Aid, but I, I think he was being genuine about that shit. What's grifting? Um, oh my God, wait, hold on. Let me, let me Google it so that I can actually give you a real definition. Grifting. Uh, grifting is the act of obtaining money or property illegally, such as through a confidence game. It can also be used as a noun to describe a group of methods of obtaining money dishonestly or the money obtained from such practices. Uh, basically, like, think of, like, Candace Owens. Like, she literally, like, fought, like, racism and then became a conservative. They would call her a conservative grifter because she's basically just saying what people want to, uh, what people want to hear. Play devil's advocate, I think he w was being disingenuous, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, it's up for interpretation. I guess fucking a Cheeto thinks the same thing. It's not fair to say someone said they were going to stop racism just because they said they're anti-racist. Yeah. Or the lady that faked cancer. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Yeah. A Cheeto is claiming he was being anti-racist to get money because it was a hot topic. Yeah, and to gain, like, garner, like, people, like, supporting him actually doing numbers like people are talking about this like my parents know about this and it's gonna be huge it's through netflix guess who starts running his mouth and starts spreading rumors and gossiping like a little girl about it he's like you know who actually got the fight first my mom either way i think kobe thank you for the work i appreciate you i think he's being uh all the war racism and immediately going silent on the topic he seems so passionate about a week and then again maybe he's being so in private 
think I don't know if he's jealous or something because uh, his fights have been less impressive than they have been said to be. Like Logan Paul could not even knock out Dylan Dennis, a literal Twitter troll. Dude, Dylan Dennis is basically a fucking Reddit mod, and you couldn't put him on the. <laughs> Round. Watch some idiot in the comment section is gonna be like, oh, I'd like to see you try. Yeah, I wouldn't. Okay. Yeah, I would get knocked out. Are you happy? Are you happy that you proved to yourself that the guy who runs a commentary channel wouldn't win in a fight against a professional boxer? Wow. <laughs> Nah, Sneeko is crazy, bro. Wow, dude, you're you're really insightful. Let me guess, the next genius thing you're gonna come up with is that a midget can't dunk on LeBron. Who would have thought? Anyway, so Jake Paul responded to this whole thing in this clip where he basically says that his brother is driven by the court of public opinion, which is hilarious. Basically saying what I'm saying, which is that he's grifting. He just kind of does whatever the public says. Like, he only responded to the CryptoZoo scam allegations after CoffeeZilla's video discussing it had, like, 10 million views or something. My brother and I is relationship sometimes has to be like aired out but it seems as if the court of public opinion is the only thing that like steers him in the right direction it is weird to lie to blatantly just lie we signed a deal with netflix and our goal was to go get another fighter to fight me we were the ones that brought the Netflix deal to Tyson. So Tyson was never in the market offering people the fights for anyone to turn down. So yes, it is weird to go online and lie. I am always having to defend myself and be undermined and be like tr like little broed. And then I have to just not allow it to happen. But I'm, ne yeah. I'm never, I'm just like taking shots. And then I have to like explain because I get thrown yeah, into it. Kinda Why is someone, my own brother, trying to make me look like the second option for Tyson? Like, oh, yeah, I turned down that deal. No, you didn't. That's a complete lie. Like, and why are you fabricating lies? It's the big brother syndrome. Oh, and then it's always, yeah. Now, I don't really feel bad for Jake Paul. I mean, the dude doesn't have a clean track record either. You know, he's been involved in some scams as well. But ultimately, like in this situation, when Logan Paul's cringe grifting behavior has gotten so bad and so potent to the point where even... Heather, what's up, homie? How goes it? His own brother is calling him out on it. You know that you're in the wrong. Anyway, in terms of this actual fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, I have no idea who's going to win. Uh, obviously, you have some people saying Mike Tyson obviously will win. He solos. But then you have other people saying that Jake Paul has earned his respect as a fighter and stands a chance, and he might even take it home. I mean, I've seen videos of Mike Tyson training, and, uh, <laughs> you know, for everyone who's saying, oh, he's old, he's washed up, I don't know, man. He, he seems pretty good. He seems pretty on his feet. He's striking hard. Hey, I would not be surprised if he took the dub but yeah tell me what you guys think about this down in the comments below yeah dude uh i don't know bro i don't know this react didn't make me feel good dude <laughs> um Jack Paul, what am I saying? Oh, rules. Uh, Mike Tyson versus Paul review revealed with Iron Mike forced to pass several tests before being allowed to take part in the fight. The rules were okay, but announced rules for Jake Paul's clash with Mike Tyson in Arlington, Texas, on July twentieth have been announced. Paul and Tyson have announced that they will fight. In it. Okay. The 2017, or 27, 27 year old, holy shit. Jake Paul's 27? Holy fuck. Holy shit. Uh, the fight between, okay, ATT Saints, so real details surrounding the fight, which boxers want. Professional bout remain unclear, but the rules have been announced. Uh, Paul and Tyson will be wearing 16-ounce boxing gloves instead of the traditional 10-ounce boxing gloves used in professional fights. Two-minute rounds will be in place instead of the usual three-minute rounds, and there will be no official judge ringside to score the fight. The only way either Paul or Iron Mike could win the fight would be if there was a knockout on the night. The majority of the rules other than the glove weight are the same as when Tyson took on Roy Jones Jr. in an ex exhibition bout in tw November 2020. As it stands, the undercard for the bout between Paul and Tyson has not yet been discussed, 
Speaking about the undercard, uh, okay, for Department of License and Regulations said it's not unusual to secure a date and venue before proposing the fighters. It's pretty common for the promoter to request a date several months out, not immediately provide the proposed card. Okay, I want to be sure they've secured the day with us since we're, we'll have to make sure we have appropriate staffing available for any event. Okay, do we have anything else going on here? Tyson showed fans they still got it at 57. Because he prefers first, first fight since 22. Or 2020. 